Hi there, welcome to this week's pricing where I am yet again a little surprised. So the Leagues of Votan kicks off this weekend with the pre-order for their army set. And I was expecting a price, I was expecting 130 or 140 and it's come at less than that. So in one of my roundup videos a few weeks ago where I was guesstimating the price of things going forward potentially and I was looking at specifically the Warcry Heart of Gur box set that was £140 RRP and I kind of I saw that 140 and I thought that that would be the standard price for big box stuff going forward um, because generally the prices of these things creep up but they don't creep down. And then the next major release after that was Warcry Into the Dark, which came in at 130. And I was even slightly surprised at last week's price for the Battle of, Os of Osgiliath, which I think was 125 pounds. And again, I expected it to be a little more than that. But anyhow, the Leagues of Votan army set is coming in at £120. Now, I haven't looked at that much of the Leagues of Votan stuff. I was pretty sure I was going to get this box uh, until I decided a few weeks ago that I was kind of not abandoning, but I wasn't getting into any new stuff for 40k or Age of Sigma. I was just going to stick with the, uh, the skirmish stuff. So that is, for the most part, Warcry and Kill Team. Now I know that other army sets that have come out fairly recently have been priced at 120 pounds as well, and they have been for you know a, a little while. Um, and I was sure that, in line with most other things, that that price was going to increase. But there you go, 120 pounds for this army box set. Um, for anyone who hasn't picked up one of these box sets previously, basically what you get is you get a small army. Um, so, you know, a, a few kind of troops and, a, you know, a few HQs and that kind of thing. And you've got some, some fast attack on here as well. And you get the rest of the stuff to play them. So you get your codex, you get your cards. Um, and in this case, you get some tokens as well as a transfer sheet. Now, with the price of everything on the planet going up at the moment, you know, is this £120 set, is that enough for you to get into this, uh, into this army? I'm sure we'll have more releases in the coming weeks. Um, but yeah, this will give a fairly decent saving on buying it all separately. So let me know if, if you're interested in the Leagues of Votan. Um, I think it's quite interesting. I watched the battle reports for them on the Warhammer, um, Warhammer Plus content. It was quite hilarious, really, to watch them absolutely stomp the Tyranids. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you can guess why that happened on that format, but um, but it certainly happened anyway. And they also had a narrow victory the previous week against the Astra Militarum. And I believe they're on there again this week with a battle against the Orcs. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out as well. But from what I've seen so far, they are very overpowered, which probably means that in you know not too far flung future, they'll probably get torpedoed and be absolutely crap. But... For now, they look pretty good. Okay, so that's all there was for 40k. So moving into Necromunda, we have got a whole bunch of dice. So we've got the uh, Squat Ironhead Prospectors, the Orlok Ash Wastes, the Ash Waste Nobads, the Ash Waste Vehicle Dice, and the Goliath Ash Waste Gang Dice. They are all £12.50 per set. We also have the Goliath Maulers, these wicked pair of vehicles on here. That's £28. There's also a book out for Necromunda, The Aranthian Succession, Cinderac Burning. Yeah, that's at £30. Honestly, I've never played Necromunda, but it seems that every week there's something new out. I don't know how people are, are keeping up with it. Um, but yeah, certainly more Necromunda stuff this week as well. And then we finish up with two books. We've got Nightbringer, the Anniversary Edition. That is £20. And we have the Vorbis Conspiracy. That's eight ninety nine. It's a paperback. Um, I will definitely be picking up the Vorbis Conspiracy. Uh, I do like the Warhammer crime stuff. I will probably do a review of the audio version of that. Um, that's how I like to absorb this content at the moment. Um, but yeah, so more on that later. But yeah, certainly looking forward to that. But that's it. That's it for this week. Um, I'll have a midweek video, hopefully, for Kill Team Into the Dark. 
you know, some maybe some terrain painting or an unboxing or something like that. Depends on if my delivery ever arrives, because over here in the UK, currently we have quite a lot of problems with couriers and people on strike and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully mine will turn up sooner rather than later. If you're thinking of picking one of these up and you want to help the channel, you can kill two birds with one stone by using my affiliate link in the description for Element Games. Give me a tiny kickback, but it won't cost you a penny more. So a massive, massive appreciation for anyone who does use that link. And finally, for anyone who is picking up the Leagues of Votan is going to go with them long term. What do you think? Do you think they look really good? Do you think that their current overpowered state is going to get reined in relatively soon or they'll be let, let loose to go wild for a long period of time? Um, it will be, for anyone who does subscribe to the Warhammer Plus, um, it is definitely worth, ha worth having a look at the battle reports they've got on there. Um, you can see definitely how strong they are. They've got, um, they've got a lot going on. They had a codex leak last week, so there's plenty of videos online about that. But certainly, they do look very good. But I will leave it there. Thank you very much to anyone who tunes in right to the end. You are the core of this channel. I really appreciate it. Have a great week. I'll see you later.